Um, the company reached out to me and wanted to know if I'd be interested in a video, you no know, review of their product. And I told them I would. And uh, so I'm just opening this up here. And let's see what we got here. All right, we have the uh, UV wireless bridge user manual, the CPE 450. We have two ethernet cables came with it. We have this, uh, I'm not really sure what they call it. It's the power over ethernet plug. We have a second power over ethernet plug. This is going to be uh, the wireless bridge, and we got two of these. Now I do want to say that uh, I did not buy this. They sent it to me for free for me to do a video and to do a review of it, and I told them I would do that. Also, it comes with two clamps, and. Uh, they're not paying me anything, so this can be my opinion. And uh, I'm going to show you what I think about it and show you, you know, how to hook it up. And let's see how it works. What I'm going to do with it, y'all, is to put it in my uh, leather shop because I needed uh, some uh, Wi-Fi out there in my leather shop. And uh, I thought it would be a good time. Somebody offered this to me here. And I said, well, it would be a good idea to, uh, you know, try it out, you know. So uh, let me uh, read the directions here and see if I can figure out how to get this hooked up. Right here on the bottom right here, you got a cover. Just push down on this uh, right here and slip it off. And this in here is going to be the A uh, bridge and this is going to be the B bridge. And uh, in the book here, it says this is going to be master bridge, which is A. And the slave bridge which is b if y'all look right here you're gonna have uh two uh land ports right there for your ethernet cables and it, you're gonna have this digital display and you have this little switch right here a and b you will have your uh master on a and your um slave um you're gonna have on b so we're gonna go ahead and get this hooked up so first thing, you got this power over ethernet uh, connector right here, which is gonna go ahead and uh, plug that in. You see that green light come on right there? And we just go ahead and plug this in also. Cause we're gonna have to pair these two together. And uh, next step, we're just gonna go ahead and hook your ethernet cable. And you wanna hook it to the uh, P-O-E, where it says P-O-E. And we're going to do this one right here the same way. All right. Okay, and here, this is the A, the master one. So we're going to uh, just, I don't think it really matters which one you put in, y'all. So I'm just going to put it in this one right here and we're going to plug this other one up here take the cover off all right let's see what this is showing here
all right so what you want to do you have this little black button right here and what we're going to do you can select it push it and you can change the channel that it's on you have numbers or you can uh, have it on a letter so what we're going to do we're just going to put on channel three and this here we're going to put on channel three and if you notice this here's got a dot right here that's going to let you know that's going to be your uh, like your receiver or your slave number b your slave so uh these two right here we're just going to let them uh pair up right there and it may I'll try when uh, these two pair, you're going to see these lights uh, come up on the sides just like this. And you see right here, I've got uh, both of them on channel three. So they're paired and ready. And uh, the next thing is uh, I'm going to be running some cable and hooking this up outside. And then uh, this is going to be going on my leather shop. And uh, you can uh, plug a ethernet cable into this running into another router or say a camera or whatever you need to run uh you know your wi-fi to or in my case uh i'm just going to hook it into one of these uh ports right here you can also do that instead of hooking to the actual antenna itself you can actually hook it in the ethernet cable into here also so that's what i'm going to be doing on mine it's hooking it right here when I get in my leather shop. But when I get all this put together, uh, I'll, I'll come back and I'll show you what I got I'll there. right here on my TV tower. I've got this other master unit uh, hooked up. That's a A unit. I'm going to just take you right up there and show you uh, how I got it set up. Here's this uh, master unit right here, the A unit. And uh, that's going to be the, um, the one that sends a signal. I've got it hooked to my tower right here. And I just uh, got my Ethernet cable there hooked to the LAN 1 port. Like I say, it don't matter if you can be either one of them. That's the one I hooked mine to. And I got my uh, cable ran down here. And I got it run inside of my house right here. And I go show you inside of there. I've got that hooked up. I've got good signals right here, full uh, bar signals right here. So everything's uh, working properly. And... Uh, let me just go inside here and show you how I got it hooked up on this side there. Here's this uh, Ethernet cable coming from a Master A unit, uh, the sending the signal. I just dropped it through my attic and come down the wall here. And I've got it plugged in this power supply right here on the POV side. This gray cable. And then coming out, uh, this Ethernet cable here, out of the LAN side, is going back up to my router box right here. And I just hooked that cable right there. To the uh, land one side that's that's it y'all that's that's how simple the hookup is going to my router right there on the side of my house that's supplying the wi-fi i'll right, y'all here's my uh setup right here on the uh b or the slave unit right here and i've got it right here hooked on the side of my shop and i just put it on like a two two and a half foot uh extension pole right there and it's uh sending a signal receiving us it receives a signal from the master um, a uh, unit so i'm going to go up here and show you what it looks like and what I, how i did it all right y'all here's a little bit uh, closer look up here and uh, i just uh like i mounted it to the pole with one of the clamps i used some uh, zip ties there to uh, connect it there and uh, now i just ran this uh cat 8 cable inside of the uh, shop there and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside and this here I've got my cover already on but this is the unit uh, B and where I hooked to I just hooked to the LAN 1 port I, it don't it, it don't matter which uh, side you hook to but I just hooked to the LAN 1 port and uh, I don't know if y'all can see across there but right across let me zoom in here so y'all can maybe kind of see it on that TV tower back yonder across the top of my uh, 
y'all can see the uh, master unit right there mounted right there on top right there above my house there all right y'all the ethernet cable comes from the uh, b unit on top of my roof there coming down the wall and i've got hooked in this power plug right here and i've got it uh, connected to the poe side of the uh, plug and then right here on the land side i've got this gray cable and i've got the gray cable coming over here to my wi-fi router box and uh, i'm going to show y'all what the uh, upload and download speed is so you can see how it does All right, the download uh, speed showing 69.13 with an upload speed of 76.87. So uh, that, that's going to vary from, you know, I know one time I got like 80 on the upload and download speeds on it. So that's going to vary from a house, y'all, before I hooked anything up. The uh, upload and uh, download speeds were around about 240 uh, from a house without anything. So you're going to lose, you know, going across here, you know, through the Wi-Fi and everything, just through that bridge, you're going to lose some speed. But that's going to be plenty of speed right there for me to uh, do what I need to do. But y'all, uh, so far, I'm enjoying this uh, new bridge setup. Uh, I never didn't know much about that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, I always wanted to have access to, you know, Wi-Fi out here in my shops. Now I do, and I want to thank UV for sending this product to me to uh, test and do a review on. And I, I believe I'm going to love it because it's, it's so far it's doing a good job for me. Y'all, uh, the hardest part of this was probably just setting everything up, climbing up in the attic of my home and, and all that, and up on the roof, stuff like that. But depending on your situation, uh, you may not have to do all that, but uh, you do want a you know, straight line you know, site to your to A bridge and your B bridge, and so you get a good uh, signal. Uh, mine is only like, I think, 260, 265 feet from the A bridge to the B bridge. So uh, that's not that far. It, it'll shoot a whole lot further than that. But I'm getting a good signal strength on both units there, full bars on everything. But uh, uh, I do recommend this product right now uh, for the short term, just because it's working good for me. And uh, long term, about five, six months down the road, I'm going to do another review, give you all an update how it's doing everything. And I believe, you know, hopefully it'll be doing good then. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy about it, y'all. Up to this point, you no, know, I didn't know much about this kind of stuff. Like I said, I don't ever do no kind of reviews or anything like that. So this is a non-biased, you know, uh, review on this uh, uh, it's working great for me and uh, like I, said, I didn't show you much on the setup of it and everything like that because uh, I had to go look at some videos and stuff and there's some good videos online that shows you some setup and stuff it's not hard y'all uh, a couple of videos that show you that and uh, but anyway y'all uh, I'll leave a link down below for a 15% uh, discount code so you can go get your own and uh, uh, my brother He's already went and uh, bought him uh, a unit just like this right here. Uh, hasn't came in yet, but um, he, uh, he he was uh, he was excited when he seen you know everything how mine worked and everything, and uh, so he went and bought him one too. But anyway, y'all, I appreciate y'all coming along. Appreciate y'all watching videos, and as always, friends from my family, yours. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye bye.